Let me show you easily. It's the best value for money. High performance multi port charger that you can currently get. And also we can check out the specs of it over here. So you see also output is very decent on this one. Okay. And inside the box we get the charger itself and also a quick manual. So it also came in a bunch of packaging wraps, but I have already used this charger for a while now. And Jelly, I'm actually very impressed with the charger. So first, when it comes to build quality, as you see, the build quality also is very decent on the charger. So we have four ports outputs. Again, this can output up to 100 watts. And you can get these in uh, for USA variant, European variant, and also UK as well. Again, here are all the specs. And also what's absolutely great, we can even charge laptops with this charger as well. And probably the best part about actually about the charger is the price of it. Personally, I got mine from AliExpress and I literally paid only a bit over $10 for it. Also, if you follow the special discount link in the description, you will also be able to get it for insanely good price. So you see, uh, so maybe for UK, like two bucks more expensive, but yeah, basically European, European version again literally around $10 essentially. But again, this is only if you follow the special discount link. The regular price I think is like uh, 15 to $16. But even at that price, really nothing actually in the market actually comes close when it comes to the actual performance and what this thing can do. And next let's check out the actual performance of this bad boy. So you see also we get this very nice indicator light on it. By the way, if you're wondering how bright it is, so during daytime it's hard to see, but at night you, you can still see it. So, but it won't disturb you, it's actually not very bright. So first maybe let's start with the type C number one, and this claims that it can output 100 watts. So we see I have my power bank over here and I'm going to try to charge. So once I plug it in, uh, it will start to climb up shortly. Okay, let's see how long it actually takes. As you see, it starts to climb up and increase in the power, as it should be. So 60, 70 watts, 80, 90, 95 almost. And it's basically settling around that. And that's what I basically find uh, what this uh, like uh, charger can actually output. And next let's plug it in power meter and see what it actually draws. So I'm going to plug in the power bank again. Let's compare. My power meter obviously is a bit slow. But yeah, let's see at what it actually settles. So you see 105 watts maybe. So I guess maybe there is like 10% inefficiency, which is actually very decent for the chargers. Yeah, definitely very good result actually. So yep, yeah, definitely this can actually output around 100 watts as it actually claims. And next let's test uh, the number two. So I think this can output around 30 watts, but let's see, do not remember exactly. Okay. Okay, so you see right around 30 watts. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, and also when it comes to the total output uh, for the type C and type uh, C2, uh, then again it's combined basically the same 100 watts. So you can either output 100 watts from this one, but if you actually plug in uh, in both ports, again the uh, combined output would be still 100 watts between these two. So maybe like 70 on this one and like 30 on that one, I guess. Uh, so, but I have no way to test it actually. But, but yeah, still, if you actually charge from both of these same time, make sure to actually plug in the more power hungry device in the uh, number one essentially. And next let's test uh, the output uh, from this regular USB A's. So obviously the output from these won't be as good as obviously it's completely different standard. 
Uh, so let's see what it does. Uh, so by the way, also, yep, you can actually charge four devices at the same time from the charger, but obviously the uh, power will be obviously split between them. So you can't get 100 from this and more even power from this. So again, the total output is limited basically. So you see uh, like 12 watts maybe on this one. And the same on other one as well. Also, I find the thermal management also is superb on this device. So let's simply plug in a bunch of devices. So I'm going to plug in my laptop here in the highest power. Also my phone to charge it up. And also this phone here as well. And we are going to simply start a timer and let it run maybe for 10 minutes. And after that, basically check the temperature of the charger. Let's check it around six minutes first to see all devices are charging rapidly. So the total power draw probably around 100 watts. So indoors, as you see, it's literally 27 degrees inside, so it's very hot. So let's check the charger. So 34. Okay, 30. On the other side. So 34 degrees maximum, so 35 almost. So that's uh, maybe like eight degrees different basically after six minutes of charging. And when you actually touch and feel the charger, it doesn't even feel warm. So can't even tell that it's actually getting warm. So again, in 100 watts, I think this is actually absolutely great performance. And let's check out once more. You see indoors I have 27 degrees and it's like 13 minutes. So it has charged. So you see, same 34.6 degrees so yeah definitely the thermal management also is excellent on this charger and overall is this charger actually worth it and should you maybe get one well yep i can highly highly recommend this charger so after actually using it for around a week now i'm generally very impressed with the charger so we get actually very decent power output from this thing we can obviously charge four devices at the same time you can also easily charge your laptop and when it comes to actual specs, they are actually basically true. So usually when you actually purchase cheap chargers like these, the specs obviously aren't true on most of them. So even basically if you check the box and when you check the actual performance, they obviously differ, but actually not on this one. So again, this actually delivers what it actually says on the box and in the specs. So yeah, also very good quality and really the best price about this really is the price. So literally, again, if you follow the special discount link, in the description you can get it for only like ten dollars uh, by the way this price is for new users on aliexpress so if you follow the special link if you are existing user you also receive extra money off basically but again uh, so it might cost like 14 or 15 dollars basically for existing users uh, also again i will try to probably get some extra coupons from aliexpress that you can use uh, by the way again i actually purchased this charger myself so i do not have any affiliation basically with this brand and this is actually the first charger i'm actually uh, having basically from this brand but after after using it yeah actually generally impressed and i think usually if you actually wanted to get a charger of this quality with this actual output I think you are looking to spend at least 30 or 40 dollars so up to maybe like 30 dollars i do not think there is a single charger in the market that can actually beat this so it's that good and for this price i mean it's absolutely ridiculous bargain so again if you want to get it for the best price simply check out those special discount links in the description anyway good luck